Hey guys, I know one of the most challenging things about a reset is getting back into a regular workout routine. I know exercise looks different to me now than it did a month ago and for sure four months ago before I started traveling, but the key thing is, is to start and show up. Look at it as a date with yourself. You know, it's non-negotiable. Nothing else is going to come in the way of that. 15 minutes, that 30 minutes, whatever the amount of time is that you can commit to each day for movement, just make a priority and get it done. Because once you start getting into a routine, then you can start focusing more on getting balance and what you're doing and you're just going to feel so much better for it. So reset tip today, start movement, start moving, get some exercise in and schedule it. Schedule your workout. Hey guys, it's Lisa with Patrician with Lisa, and I'm all about the green monster, filling this baby up every morning and making sure it's empty by the time I go to bed at night. But yeah, sometimes drinking water on its own can be a little bit boring, monotonous, so I like to flavor it up with some uh, diffusing of fruits and vegetables. But what I'm really into at the moment that I picked up when I was traveling were these water drops. They come in different flavors like raspberry, lemon, blueberry. Um, it's sweetened with stevia and it's just a couple of drops in, your, in a glass or bottle of water and it's really portable and just gives your water just a little bit of a zing. So I highly recommend if you are finding it hard getting your water intake each day, diffuse it, do something different with it so you can stay cool and stay hydrated. Hey guys, it's Lisa with Patrician with Lisa and I'm enjoying this gorgeous day while listening to my favorite podcast, We Can Do Hard Things with Glennon Doyle, Abby and Amanda. Guys, if you have not heard Glennon speak, then you're really missing out. Every week she shows up with topics and subjects that are really messy, um, amazing, but it's all about how to live your most authentic life and be prepared to be rocked. I am rocked every single time I listen to her um, podcast and it's like therapy. I arrive back after my walk and yeah, it's like a free therapy session where I'm feeling just a little bit more amazed about myself and about life. So whatever you do, find something that lights you up, guys. And if you haven't already, tune in to We Can Do Hard Things. This is really bad. Hi, it's Lisa with Patricia with Lisa and today I'm just going to actually clear some of my clutter. My training shoes and others. My one task is to get this sorted. I'm going to go through all the ones that I use regularly. They're the priority and then anything else. These are the yes, these are the no. I probably should be a bit more ruthless, but this is a good start. Feeling so much better for clearing. Sometimes that's all we need to do to make a little tweak, to make our day a little bit more, less crowded. Hey guys, it's Lisa with Patrician with Lisa and today I am showing up even though I'm really not that in the mood. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to take care of and coming into the city for a workout was really not on the plan today but you know what, I showed up anyway. I got a bit of a workout in, I feel better for it. So sometimes even when you're not in the mood, just pushing yourself that little bit further so you can do something good for yourself. Have a good day guys.